coronavirus, will schools be able to reopen in June? Plans are being made for how schools in England will start to reopen next month. However, there is disagreement over whether children will be returning too soon and how schools can be made safe. Can schools reopen next month? The decision will be made on the 28th of May as to whether nurseries and primary schools will open in England on the 1st of June. Local councils and teaching unions are asking ministers to reconsider. The plans are for nursery and preschool and reception and years 1 and 6 at primary school to resume next month. At secondary school and college, year 10 and 12 would return first. This is just a tiny fraction of a regular school population. Schools in Wales will not reopen on the 1st of June, while those in Scotland and Northern Ireland may not restart before the summer holidays. How safe is it to reopen schools? There are different views on this. Cabinet Office Michael Gove says England schools are safe to reopen, but I did say you can never eliminate risk. However, as at least 11 councils have expressed concern and teaching union NASUT is unconvinced. N-A-S-U-W-T is unconvinced it's if it is appropriate or practicable. Young children so far appear to be low risk of becoming very ill from coronavirus. How will schools reopen? The Department for Education has issued guidance to schools in England. It says they should have classes of no more than 15 children with one teacher and be kept apart from others, similar to Denmark's protective bubble approach, stagger break and lunch times and arrival and departure times clean more frequently and reduce the use of shared items and outdoor space. In addition, children will be discouraged from taking home things like books. Scotland's largest teachers union, the EIS, says a new blended approach to teaching and learning. This could include a combination of part-time learning at school and home or online working. Wales's education minister has said schools will only return when it is the right time and it is the right thing to do. In Northern Ireland, the Education Minister said practical measures like PPE for staff, social distancing and meal times and safety for school transport will need to be rearranged. Local authorities are responsible for supporting schools and trusts to ensure they can accommodate these pupils plus eligible year groups for a 1st of June reopening. They are also responsible for monitoring demand and capacity, supporting residential special schools and assessing the risk to pupils. Do I have to send my children to school? At present, it is not compulsory for key worker parents to send their children to school or any parents, and there are no fines for those who have not taken up the places available to them. It is expected that this temporary arrangement, where usual sanctions do not apply, will continue for all parents of any year groups going back in England during the summer term. What about disadvantaged children? As of the 14th of May, about 231,000 children are attending school in England representing 2.4% of pupils who normally attend. This includes 73,000 children clusters vulnerable by schools. The Department for Education estimates this figure represents about 14% of all vulnerable pupils. The government is urging teachers and local authorities to encourage more youngsters from these backgrounds to go to classes each day. What's happening in other countries? Schools in Denmark have reopened as have some in Germany and in France, although those in the Republic of Ireland, Italy and Spain will stay shut until after the holidays. How are children currently being educated at home? Schools have tried to continue a limited curriculum online, relying on parents and guardians to supervise to support home learning. The BBC has also launched a major programme of expen expanded educational content on the BBC Bite Size service, including regular daily lessons in English maths and other core, other core subjects. What about exams? Summer exams have been cancelled in England, Wales and Scotland. This includes GCSEs and A-levels in England and Wales, plus primary school SATs, national curriculum tests in England and Scotland, hires and nationals will not be going ahead. Exam watchdogs have also been working together on alternative arrangements. It is still advisory, if you can stay home, do so. More than to see schools back, get them back to normal. Make sure that children are sat around learning and experiencing the joy of being at school. But I can't give you a date, because before we do, we need to meet five tests. First, we must protect the NHS's ability to cope.
and be sure that it can continue to provide critical care and specialist treatment right across the whole of the United Kingdom. Second, we need to see daily death rates from coronavirus coming down. Third, we need to have reliable data that shows the rate of infection is decreasing to manageable levels. Fourth, we need to be confident that testing capacity and PPE is being managed with supply able to meet not just today's demand, but future demand. And fifth, and perhaps most crucially, we need to be confident that any changes we do make will not risk a second peak of infection. said many times that the U.S. is doing far better than any other country when it comes to testing. Yes. Why does that matter? Why is this a global competition to you if everyday Americans are still losing their lives and we're still seeing more cases every day? Well, they're losing their lives everywhere in the world. And maybe that's a question you should ask China. Don't ask me. Ask China that question, okay? When you ask them that question, you may get a very unusual answer. Yes, behind you, please. What, sir, why are you saying that to me specifically? I'm telling you. I'm not saying it specifically to anybody. I'm saying it to anybody that would ask a nasty question That's like that. That's not a nasty please question. Please go ahead. Why does it matter? When okay. Uh, anybody else? Please go ahead in the back, please. I have, to, I have two questions. No, it's okay. But we'll you pointed here. to me. I have two questions, Mr. Next, President. Next, next, please. But you did. You called on me. I did, and you didn't respond. And now I'm calling on. Sorry, I just the young lady in the back, please. I just wanted to let my colleague finish. Okay. But can I ask you, ladies a and gentlemen, thank you very much. Appreciate but it. You thank you very much.